Okay, this is a leftover chrysalis top. I knew I was procrastinating taking this down for a certain reason. So, always relocate your chrysalis after it's nice and hardened. And I'm going to try to keep this in focus, but it wants to focus on what's behind me. So, um, so what I do is I gently take a pin and separate the chrysalis. And this is all kind of dried out. But if you can't get under there with that or you're nervous about breaking the cremister, then you can take scotch tape and the, the silk, you may not be able to see it on camera, um, but the silk extends all the way around here. And that's usually a good um, amount of space that your caterpillar has made. Now you see how I'm just gently prying this away and I just, I just keep at it until you just get enough silk that you can get a pin in it. It doesn't take a whole lot. I mean, of course, more is always better because you can cut off what you don't want. But once you peel this away, um, it's good to have a couple of tools. One is scotch tape. If you can't get an edge on it like this, this came away fairly easy. Sometimes it's really hard, depending on what it's stuck to. A hard surface like this, it comes away much easier. But on a mesh or an enclosure, sometimes it's pretty sticky. So once you get it kind of like that, um, another tool to have is a pair of tweezers. And then you just pull it down, just like this. Now imagine this would be a chrysalis, so you pull it down and you have a bunch of silk. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down since I need another hand. Uh-oh. Let's see if I can make this happen like this. I need one of those fancy, um, fancy camera holders. Maybe I'll have to edit this together, so we'll see. Okay, so let me get you back into focus here. So once you have that taken down, again, this would be your chrysalis. This is all I have for demonstration. I have no monarchs right now. So you take that, you get a leaf off your hand, and you would just gently take that silk and roll it between your fingers. And then you have a little silk button to put your straight pin through. Okay, so let me find a, what do I do with that straight pin? Okay, and then you just, it's so much easier actually when you have the chrysalis to hold on to. Um, just take a straight pin and pin it through there. And this, this silk is, I'm so sorry that this is out of focus. And the silk is a lot stronger than we think. And then sometimes I'll take and dampen my my fingers um, and roll it around like that. And you want to, you know, you'll do it till you ha feel like it's really strong and the pin is on there. Sometimes if I have extra, I will wrap it around. I'll twist it up into a, a small rope. This is a terrible, terrible video. I'm so sorry. Um, and then you can just pin it wherever you want. So let me do an example of, sometimes you have a caterpillar who has a, a lot of silk. So when they ha give you a lot of silk to work with, you, and this is just extra silk that I keep on hand. So what I'm, what I'm saying is you just roll it up in like this and then you have a, a rope and you pin through it and then you can wrap it around. I'm not going to roll all this up because I want to save this in case I have a fallen chrysalis, but um, that's how easy it is to roll up into a rope. You just twist your fingers like that. 